Hi, welcome to Russ's Man Cave. If you want to find out what's going on today at the Man Cave, make sure to stay tuned. But before that, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Have you ever been driving down the road and you come to a red light and your car started vibrating? Well, so, you might need to change your spark plugs. And now I'm going to show you how to do just that. As easy as one, two, three. Come on, I'll show you. For today's job, you're going to need a 3 8 socket wrench, a 3 8 extension, and a 5 8 spark plug socket. Preferably with this little rubber grommets. So it can actually grip the spark plug and as it comes out, it actually pulls it right out. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this plastic engine cover. For that, you're going to have to remove four 10 millimeter bolts. Now you can go ahead and use your socket wrench. But if you're lazy like me, you can go ahead and just use a small drill with an adapter and a 10 millimeter socket. Now we're going to remove the plastic engine cover. Now we have four 10 millimeter bolts. We're gonna go ahead and remove those. Now before we can remove these coil packs, we have a 10 millimeter bolt and a 10 millimeter nut here. Now to get easier access to it, you can just remove this clip and now you got easier access to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Okay, and remove the bolt. Now that we've removed those two bolts, we're gonna go ahead and just take these coil packs out one by one. First one, second one, third one, and fourth one. Just place it right there. To pull the spark plugs out, I'm going to use the wrench, the extension, and the spark plug socket. And we're going to get them out as so. Okay. Now remember this, guys. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. We're removing, so we're going lefty. Be a little snug. Just give it a good push. It should come right out. Now you remember that little rubber grommet I was talking about. Check it out. Spark plug should come right out. Okay. And you're going to repeat the same process for the rest of the three. These are the four spark plugs I removed from the vehicle. They are Denso's and they are in pretty bad shape. Now with these rhythm spark plugs, they're already pre-gapped so you don't have to worry about it. Plus, you really don't want to really uh, gap the iridium spark plugs because you might break the electrode and you don't want to do that. To install the new spark plugs in, you're going to grab your extension, your spark plug socket, your spark plug, put it in. It's got a nice firm grip. See that? You're going to put it in the hole and you're going to hand tighten it. So, and you're going to repeat the same process for the rest of the spark plugs. Now we're going to use the socket wrench to tighten them. Snug. 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 And that's it. To put the coils back exactly in the order we removed them. First one, second one, third one, and fourth one. And you put the rail back where it was. Line all the coils up with their holes. Perfect. Once you have the rail lined up with all the holes, you're going to grab your 10 millimeter nut and tighten it, and your 10 millimeter bolt. Then I'm going to grab my drill 
and put them back. Then you're going to grab your 10 millimeter bolts and put each one on each coil. All the clips to the ignition coil are secured. And let's not forget the one I removed. We're going to go ahead and install it back on the ignition coil. Your plastic engine cover and you're going to line it up with the hose. Tighten these bolts. And that's how you install spark plugs in a 2003 Toyota Celica GTS with the 1.8 engine. If you like today's car DIY, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. So I'll see you next time at Rusty's Man Cave.